op-eds about nitrates um, and the runoff from uh, generally large-scale farms and how they can affect drinking water. So the overuse of these inorganic fertilizers causes runoff, um, which can then get into groundwater and drinking wells as well. I thought it was really interesting that a lot of Minnesotans actually get their drinking water from groundwater, so the nitrate runoff especially, especially affects them, especially in the Corn Belt of America when there's so much farming all around. Um, I was really interested in looking at the different scales of farming and how like one scale can affect um, can have a larger effect on especially for like the areas around the farm not just the farm itself. I kind of knew that large-scale farming did have a larger environmental impact than smaller scale farms did um, but I didn't quite know the extent at which they did um, and I think op-eds are a great resource for people to learn more about issues that they don't know a lot about just because it's from the people it's from people who they relate to directly kind of talking to the people who they do who they also relate to um, so it's kind of a closer way to like get a personal connection to what the issue you're trying to learn about.